So, now that the Canonade obsession is over, it's time to obsess over something else. And that something else is going to be silly elementalist blast builds. We're gonna start off with the silliest one of them all, melee elementalist, because as Anarchy pointed out in the comment section, you can do blast and electricity and then spread everything around with melee influence. And as soon as I read that, I was just like, yep, yeah, that sounds absolutely stupid, let's do it. But I wasn't quite sure which melee weapon to choose, because there are quite a few melee weapons to choose from, however, in the end, I landed on the Cronin Prime. This is a pair of Mastery Rank 13 Tone Fasts that do primarily slash damage with a little bit of puncture and impact, and they sport a 22% crit chance, a 2 times crit multiplier, and a 34% status chance. Now the reason I chose these is because they do primarily slash damage, and I was worried about the single target damage of a blast electricity build when we don't have a ton of enemies to cross proc our status on, and even if the high slash damage wasn't enough, Discord Zone, which is the heavy attack on Tone Fast, has forced slash on it, which should be absolutely fantastic for taking down even the heaviest of targets targets even if they're completely alone. So let's see how ridiculous we can make this, shall we? I've actually tried a few other weapons before the Cronin Prime, and I've even recorded them, but it wasn't feeling quite right, so let's hope that this is the one. The unique trait, by the way, is just parkour velocity. Let's get Sovereign Outcast on there, it fits the polarity and it's pretty fun. I think Condi Overload is the way to go here, I mean we could go with Primed Pressure Point instead, but we're gonna be proccing a lot of status here. Also. We are not gonna be running crit, even though the crit stats are pretty good, because it just won't fit. Alright, Melee Elementalist. This is kind of a crazy mod, 90% status damage is a lot, and we get heavy attack wind up speed as well, which is gonna work well with the Tenokai setup. Let's get Vicious Frost and Volcanic Edge for Blast, Voltaic Strike for Electricity. I think I would rather have the extra status here instead of the damage, because we could go with Choking Touch instead. Berserker Fury for some attack speed, Weeping Wounds for even more status, this is gonna be kind of ridiculous actually, and Prime Reach for range. There we go. This is a really heavy status setup, 95.2% status without Weeping Wounds. That's kinda nuts. Let's get an adapter. I really need to max this out, but it's gonna work fine, so we're gonna run Melee Influence here, that's gonna be like the crown jewel of this, and let's also get an Exilus adapter here, and I guess we can run Opportunities Reach. I really like this one because the longer window makes it much harder to whiff Tenokai and lose your combo, and we also get the extra range, which is nice. Let's start off with a Grenier Battle Group, Steel Path, level 100. Should be fine. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. The single target is not great without Tenokai, but if you incorporate Tenokai, like so, and you get the big heavy slash procs on there, mwah, fabulous. Let's max this out at 190, and let's also do a different battle group. Let's try the Narmer instead. Yeah, the AoE is ridiculous, but once you get to just a few enemies, the single target takes a big hit. But that's where, like, the properties of the Cronen come in. That's why I chose it. It's because of the extra slash that we get on top of everything else. I have a feeling this is gonna be absolutely busted in a normal mission. <laughs> I was correct, this is absolutely ridiculous. It actually makes the enemy density feel weird. It feels like there are far fewer enemies than there actually are because of the way it chains around. Yeah, the AoE is so good, it actually feels odd because it feels like I'm barely fighting anything, yet my life support is completely full. Hello, uh, violence. Are you ready for some violence? I hope you are, because I have plenty. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yep. That's awesome. Like, do having that much acolyte damage on a like a damage over time setup or like a status setup is awesome. This is an absolute banger of a setup, my god. You know what, this actually kind of reminds me of the old gas builds, like the old old gas builds from like, what, five years ago, when gas used to proc toxin. Next on the menu, we have the infested. Dude, this is ridiculous. It's actually lagging my PC. Like, when I run into a new room that's full of enemies and I start hitting them, I can hear the fans on my PC speed up. I mean, I expected this to be really good, especially versus the infested, since they have no armor, but this, <laughs> this is a whole other level of silly. I'm glad I chose the Cronin though, I kinda wonder if maybe you could do it with a hybrid setup as well. I don't think I would want to though, you just lose so much mod space because you would need to run Blood Rush and then Organ Chatter, so you would lose two mods and I don't think it would be quite as good if you did that. Maybe you could do it if you had like Warcry on your frame and Arcane Strike for the attack speed and then you just didn't get any range, so you could take out Primed Reach and Berserker and replace them with Crit. That would work. 
I have a feeling the corpus on this ship are about to have a very bad day. Look at the numbers, that's so dumb. Yeah, if you've not tried this yet, just, just do it. You don't have to use the Cronin Prime for this, by the way. Any melee weapon that has forced slash on heavies for some extra single target and enough status chance to actually proc status will do. I love these new elementalist mods, because previously what you would do on a build like this is run a faction mod, and you would have to faff around with your build every time you want to fight a different faction, but now you can just slap on elementalist and you can use it against everything. But if you really want to, like really, really want to, if you want to be super duper sweaty, you can still squeeze in a faction mod in there. And that's good, having options is always good. Greetings, my dear angst. Yeah, the acolyte damage makes this even better. You don't have to worry about acolytes at all. You can just smack them around. Even if you don't get Tenokai procs, it's a-okay. Awesome stuff. So here's the final blasted electricity-based elementalist setup for the Cronin Prime. And it is a bit strange since we didn't go for crit at all. The main reason for that is that I wanted the build to feel good on its own. I didn't want to rely on outside help to make it feel nice. For the stance, we have Sovereign Outcast, and for our Tenokai trigger, we're using Opportunity's Reach. I like Opportunity's Reach because I hate whiffing Tenokai procs. Losing your combo in the middle of combat is not great, though it's not the end of the world. So if you prefer a different Tenokai trigger, you can run that instead. Now, for the actual mods, we have Condition Overload for damage, Primed Reach for a ton of range, Weeping Wounds for a bunch of extra status, and Berserker Fury for attack speed. Then we have Voltaic Strike, Volcanic Edge, and Vicious Frost, which combines into Blast and Electricity and also gives us a ton of status, and we top it all off with Melee Elementalist. This provides us with 90% status damage, which affects Blast, Electricity, and Slash, and it also increases our Heavy Attack wind-up speed. Now to top it all off, we're running melee influence. This is absolutely huge on a setup like this because it allows us to cross proc our blast, electricity and slash procs to all enemies within a massive area. It effectively scales our damage based on the number of enemies we're hitting. So this ended up being rather silly, did it not? This has got to be one of the best AoE setups when it comes to melee nowadays. I mean, come on. I genuinely can't think of anything else that would be more ridiculous than this. The only, I don't even want to call it a downside, is that it doesn't deal particularly well with armor, but at the end of the day you can just provide your own armor strip, whether it be via your frame or via a pet. So I would highly recommend you give this setup a shot, whether it be on the Cronin Prime or on something else. Because as I have mentioned already, this will work on pretty much any melee weapon that has good enough status, though with that said, I would recommend you do it on a weapon type that has forced slash procs on its heavy attacks. Otherwise, you might find yourself in a situation where you're fighting a single, really strong enemy and you just don't have enough single target. And as always guys, I thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Then I would also like to extend a special thank you to all the channel members. Thank you very much guys, I really appreciate your support, it means a lot to me. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.